Bible says ever since the days of John the Baptist yes. until right now yes. that the kingdom of heaven yes. suffered violence. Yes. And the violence got to take it. Oh, Jesus. its position once again. Yes. And to begin to maximize the kingdom of God. I want to just make an announcement right here, Dr. Medina. The church is not weak. That's right. The church is not dead. That's right. The church in this hour is much alive and the church of the Lord Jesus Christ shall arise victorious. Yes. And you can't get rid of us. And you, we ain't going nowhere. But the Bible says to his kingdom there is no end. There is no end. So we, you can't abolish us. You can't eradicate Praise us. God. You can't throw us away. We're only getting stronger and, and stronger. stronger. Longer. I like to say it like this. It's up, up and away. Up, up and away. You know, it's great and great. It's a Jesus, listen, Texas guy. God, Come on, poor God on. is just, oh, the Lord began to speak to me and he said, listen, right, because people are carrying issues. And you know, all this thing we see in the world system, I wrote it in this book, Breaking the Chains on Worship the Welfare, mm -hmm. talking about um, the, the world system. You know, people arguing about politics and all this stuff and who they gonna vote for and who they gonna vote out and all this different things and uh, this one slept with somebody and this person fell. You know what? God began to show me. All of this is just a strategy of the enemy. Oh, yes. And, and, the, and, and what's happening, the Lord began to show me several years ago, the spirit of the abomination of desolation. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we know that that's something that's gonna come. But the Lord began to show me three spirits working through that system. The spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of the Antichrist, the spirit of apostasy. And, and what the Lord began to show me, he said, watch what's happening, Maddie. He said, the spirit of Babylon yeah. is trying to creep its way into the church to strangle the believers into believing that we ain't going nowhere. But I wish a crazy He's believer a devil declared the devil is a liar. distract us to keep on looking at our issues and to keep on looking at oh this thing is failing oh oh you know what my mortgage is and my house got repossessed and all of these things you know the word of God says that the trial of our faith work at patience and I believe that what God is doing he said in the, in the book of Psalm 66 he said God you mean you allow man to ride over my head you allow me to fall into a pit why God why did you do it God said I'm just doing it to get some of y'all into a wealthy place Medina, but no, pour you, on, girl. This is good. We you know, are feasting. We, you know, God began to say to me, He said, and so what's happening is that there are so many chains and there are so many strongholds on the lives of people. People, nobody wants to be bound. Nobody. Everybody want to be set free. In the book of uh, in the book of Mark, the Bible, Jesus met, meets a demoniac in the tombs, and the Bible said that nobody could bind him. Not with chains, not with feathers, not with cords. That was telling me something about that demoniac. Mm -hmm. That even in his lunatic condition, mm -hmm. he did not want chains binding him. Oh, oh my goodness. Began to show me was the point that 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 people are coming to church, which is the spiritual hospital, because they don't want to be bound. That's right. They really want to be loose. Yes. And so what God wants to do, Dr. Medina, is He wants to raise up a church. That's why He said in the book of Hey God, who is left among you that have seen this house in its first glory? And how do you see it now? He's wanting this church to rise up and to begin to break chains and to begin to move yourself from out of position of just crying where you come to worship but then you go to warfare and then you prevail. Oh my God. Go to worship and prevail. That's so key what you are saying. Praise God. Because you can get true deliverance yes, you can. in the house of the Lord. But the key is you must get in the presence of the Lord. Yes. If you just touch the physical church, there will be no deliverance. There will be none. But when you touch the God of the church, come on, that's it right then there. there is deliverance. Jesus. Somebody asked you, how do you know that you've been in the presence of the true and living God? I know that I've been in the presence of the true and living God because I can't find my pain. Come on. I can't find my hurt. No the more. stuff that once had me crying and up at night and had issues all of my life, I can't even find it. Come on. I can't even find the hurt, the pain, the stain, the Jesus. none of it. And that's what Jesus would do. I mean, our time is up. I, I could stay here two more hours <laughs> with you. Would you just share, just for about 10 seconds, would you just pray 
for somebody that is bound right now. Praise God. Praise God. I want every person that's going through something under the sound of my voice. I don't care whether you're in Africa, Bahamas, Jamaica, or throughout America. I, I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that every stronghold of the enemy is broken over the life of each person that's watching this program on today. I bind every spirit of poverty. I bind every spirit of rejection. I bind the spirit of perversion in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare Hallelujah. even the spirits of infirmity that's working even to bring people to death through Hallelujah. cancer and other disease. I bind you in Jesus' name. I loose you from your assignment and I declare that the blessings of the Almighty God you, will be rich upon your life like never ever before. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah.